New York and on the new Hot 97 app. Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. All the mics are on. The family's here. Gather around, everybody. It's Ebro in the morning. Laura Styles, Rosenberg, African Ancestry back on the program. Yeah. Give it up one time. Yeah. Introduce yourself to the people again. Good morning. I'm Gina Page. I'm the president and co-founder of AfricanAncestry.com. Now, Gina has come back for the sole purpose to reveal our all, all of our African ancestry, which Black. Um, ours took so long just to get, or mine took so long, because we had to get my cousin, who's 60, who's my grandmother's sister's daughter, so that we could find out the maternal side of my dad's side. Because of, obviously my mom's white, but if you find out the paternal side, the odds are that you will have more European blood if you're African American because of how much white men were having sex with black women. Yes? You said it. So we it, we find European ancestry 35% of the time for black men. On the paternal, on the paternal side. line. That's how much sex, but it's also social too because... Well, paternal side. Because you're, because if you trace the paternal side, all the DNA will go back through the father. It raises, you get that from your dad. It raises the, the odds that you'll have European because white men was having sex with a lot of black women. But then why would it be the paternal? I'm not smart enough. I don't understand. <laughs> can you help him understand? I can. So I Ebro got half of his, or you, you got half of your DNA from your father. Okay. And part of that DNA is the Y chromosome. Okay. The Y chromosome is inherited by the son from the father. So you have the same Y chromosome as your father and his father and his father and so on. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so when we want to trace the ancestry of that line... The we look African at th ancestry. Just the an any oh, just ancestry. The ancestry. The ancestry of that line, we have to look at the Y chromosome. Okay. But when we look at the Y chromosome of black men, yeah. it tends... 35% of the time, it goes back to Europe because... The, of the behavior of slaveholders, slave traders, and other white men. They were having children with enslaved black women. Got it. So you're, so it's your male lineage that ends up being European. Exactly. Got it. So I needed to find a... Because my mom's already white, we know that. For me to trace my black side, I had to find a woman to raise the odds to really find out. Yeah, I, okay, I get it. Makes yeah. sense. So we, we Somehow said she said it more eloquently than you. It was weird. <laughs> We sent, we sent him the paternal test. So he did the paternal test, but then I said, let's do another one just to be sure, because I didn't want to come back in case it did say. Well, mine's going to come back that I'm like Scottish, Irish, <laughs> and British. I'm just fronting like I'm a black dude. Yo, would the internet love I mean, that's that. what, the internet would <laughs> die. Yo, you Ebro's white. The Ebro's white, that's 100%. It, 100%. Yo, hun yo, I've heard him say the N word, too. This is crazy. <laughs> it would all come It would all come Oh, my God. It would all of it. Known white man, Ebro says. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, his name's Ebro. Use the no one they start bro bringing up, name. They start bringing up all the old footage of me oh using the N-word. Yo, Yo, it's over for you. It's over. All right, so who we doing right. first? Mine or we want to say mine for last since I'm the one that's most mixed? I can go first. Okay. Yes, I can go so, first. So, Laura, when I met you, yes. you told me that your ancestry is Guatemalan. Yes, yes. And that is, are both your parents on both sides? Yes. Oh, on your mom's side. Well, on my mom, my mom is from Guatemala. And okay. My family's from Guatemala. My dad's family. My mother is from Guatemala. My grandma was from Guatemala, but his father is from Belize. Okay, so we traced your mother's 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 line, and when you said it was Gua Guatemala, I thought, oh, it's probably not going to come back African. And in fact, what we found was indigenous yes. ancestry. Yes. So that's consistent with what you know yes. from your family history and from what you got from other DNA yeah, tests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of, when I saw the percentages, I'm like colonized and colonizer. Like yeah. I'm like 30% Spaniard. I, fa I found European that. European Spanish. Yeah. And then I found the rest was native indigenous to Guatemala. Exactly. So that's what we found for you. Okay. We found indigenous Classic. American yes. ancestry yeah. from South America. See what it looks like? I was like 40-something percent. So it makes sense. Oh, you got like a certificate. But you know, since you are um, still, since you took our test. You're still African. That's what she's saying. You're still part of the and family. And they give you a certificate of ancestry. You're still part of the family. So welcome to the African ancestry Oh, well, ancestry thank you. Black. And then what's in this envelope? That's different. That's the rest of her results. Oh, there's the rest of it. There's more? How, there's a lot of information. The Native American well, populations belonging to the Haplogroup. 
So I brought you this gift. I brought Aww. you a little Africa pendant. Thank cool. you. African ancestry with the pendants in the I gifts. I know. And the results. By the way, I thought it was like 1% Senegalese, because that's what came out of my other DNA. Well, then you can definitely wear that with pride. <laughs> <I'm> 1%. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> but thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, oh, yeah, who's next? Let's do Juan Cabral, Dominican. Let's do Juan it. Juan Cabral. Cast Uno. So this way, this right here is for all the Dominicans this out is, there that think you're not black. So is this maternal or paternal? So this is all the women. Yeah. Mother to mother to mother to mother going all the way back. So is this the grandmother that lived to be 117? No, 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 no. That's my dad's mom. <laughs> That's my dad's mom. Was it 100? No, it was 21. It, it? it was 155. <laughs> it just keeps going up because we don't know. We don't know. So we found your ancestry in Africa. Yes. In the most populous country in Africa. Which one is that? Nigeria. Oh, that's why. I, that's why I could like Afro. That's why you like Afro. That's why you like Afro beat. And so the the beauty of an African ancestry test is we don't just tell you that you're West African yeah. or that you're from Nigeria, but we found your actual people, the tribe really? that you share ancestry wow. with. And this tribe, it's interesting that your people, you know, are Curacao and yeah. what else did you say? Aruba throughout the Caribbean, because yeah. this this group of people has a spiritual system that has expanded throughout the world and is still practiced heavily in Brazil. Yoruba. And in, Yoruba. In, I told exactly. you was Yoruba. Yeah. I told you yeah. that. So yeah. you share maternal genetic ancestry with the Yoruba wow. who are in Nigeria yes. today. Congratulations. Thank you. You got a little certificate? I got a little certificate. Yo, if anybody questions you, you got a certificate, kid. I got a certificate, bro. I'm good. <laughs> And Let's the go. next time you're in line in Africa and they tell you you're in the wrong line, you're in the wrong line. Yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to be in Y'all heard that story before, Rosenberg? <laughs> When he was in Kenya, yeah. a, the Kenyan uh, official at the airport came up to him and yelled at him and told him he was in the wrong line. Yeah, because it was like the the um, the tourist line, and it was the Kenyan line. And he tells me, you're on the wrong line. Like, very, very forcefully. No, sir, you're in the wrong line. You need to be over here. And I'm like, but I'm... No, you're Kenyan. You're, this is your line. <laughs> I'm like, but my passport, American. He's like... Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You're in the right line. I'm, I'm just so jealous of you because I've been dreaming of a certificate that I was black my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do you next. All right, let's see. Maybe right. this is the moment. Yo, of you're truth. blacker than me. Odds are you're blacker than no, me. I, I really don't think so, unfortunately. <laughs> so, was... what do you know about your mother's, mother's, mother's people? Um, my mother's mother, mother. Not a lot. Um, Poland, like just Europe, Jewish Europe. That's all I pass my grandmother. I don't know much about my grandma's mom, to be honest. Um, not very much. Okay. So we didn't find your ancestry to be European. What? Yo, I need the cord. Go, 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 go. Yo, you Nigerian, son. No, what is it? What is it? It's Middle Eastern. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Guru! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, that's, that's, India. India. that's India. That's India. <laughs> Different. That's India. <laughs> yep, it's Middle Eastern now because mm. the, the testing that we do... Yo, you're Arabic. You're like an Arabic Jew. Let her finish, please. Yeah, I'm very excited. Excited. I know, I know. The, the best that we can say <laughs> is Middle Eastern, but we know from what's called the haplo group the sort of scientific grouping that your specific lineage belongs to is called N1. And the people in N1 are the first to migrate out of East Africa about 50 to 60,000 years ago. So what you're saying is, correct me if I'm wrong, Ethiopian. I'm black is what you're basically saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the new Rachel Dolezal is what everyone's saying. <laughs> so, um, so my mom's side at some point, mom's mom's mom, Came from Africa. No, came from the Middle East. The Middle and East. they came origin then from Northern Africa. Exactly. Prior to that. Exactly. Do I get a certificate? You do. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm official. That's pretty cool. Welcome African to the family. My mom's gonna be really excited to see this. Congratulations, Peter. You are finally black. <laughs> 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 uh, shares maternal genetic ancestry with Middle Eastern populations belonging to the Haplo group and one B. Very cool. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. And cool. it's signed by scientific director Rick Kittles, in case you're wondering. Yeah. It's official. How long has Rick been doing this? Oh, my. His whole career has been dedicated to African and African-American lineage research. But I would say for our company, definitely the 16 years and then about 10 years 
additionally compiling the database. So 26 years. Amazing. Yo, man, you Middle Eastern, man. I'm going to send this to my mom right now. She's going to be hyped. Yo, so his birthday is on the same day as Haile Selassie, East Africa. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yo, it does. Yosemite, Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Mm-hmm. Tribe of Judah. Jewish. It does kind of work. Conquering with... Lion, Tribe of Judah, oh. Jews, Judah. Here Nine we are. Seven. Where would King David have actually been? Right there in that yeah. northern Eastern Africa. Nile Valley. So this north. works. This works with my works. story that I've been running with. It works. <laughs> story still going. Boom, shaka time. You know, boom, shaka <laughs> time. <laughs> Straight to Jamaica. <laughs> I hope we find out Johnny's Jamaican. <laughs> you can't. It doesn't wouldn't work oh, that way. Yeah, they, I guess they go far back. Jamaica well, there's a different place. Is, yeah, still. I don't get the idea. Is that All right, who's that next? Who's next? Shani Culture. Shani. The best for last. Guru. The best. I don't know. Rose Royce <laughs> might have been the best one. Middle Eastern is pretty tight. Yeah. So, Shani, your, your people are Jamaican? No. no, Trinidad. Trinidad. That's right. He's never been to Jamaica. He's never, never been. 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 He, he's never even heard of it. Trinidad no, is beautiful, though. Trinidad is nice. Yeah, it's very nice. It's nice. So what do you know? Do you know about anything beyond um, Trinidad? I know that my mother's father's family is from Grenada. Okay. It came from Grenada to Trinidad because so, Trinidad had oil and all that stuff. I know that uh, my mother's grandfather was an African, and he married a woman who was half white, half black. So her... Father was a slave owner. Yeah, and Tupac was his I brother. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that too. <laughs> <laughs> so that's perfect. So you know that your that woman was had a a white father and an. My African mother's mother. grandmother was half white. Right. So we looked at her mother's line. That that grand your mother's grandmother's mother's line. Yeah. And we went back again five hundred oh to two thousand years. Shawnee's Polish. Oh my <laughs> God. No, she was African. She was African. <laughs> She was definitely African. Okay. And her ancestry is found in a country that's in West, kind of central West Africa. Mm. It's known as Africa in miniature because everything that you find across the continent, you also find in this country. Mm. The people that you share ancestry with are in two different groups. Uh, One group is found in other countries across across the continent, the Hausa people. You all have heard of the Hausa. Hausa. Usually in... in we'll talk about that Stop. <laughs> a lot of this. And they migrated from the Hausa. Africa. They're everywhere. Mm. And the other group is the Tikar people. Mm. They both live in the country of Cameroon. Wow. So that's it's, official. it's official. It's official. The okay. Tikar and the Hausa, Hausa. people I have to living write in Cameroon. This down because I'm like, what? Cameroon. Oh, see a says Hausa on it. That's so fire. Ooh, Hausa. And what's the other one? Tikar. Tikar. Ooh, that's hard. That's hard. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I'm happy. <laughs> that's dope. Yo, Juan, sit down. We got to get the, the tallest Mexican popping. Yeah. All right. DJ John. Okay. <laughs> this is John, this is John Garcia. Garcia. Okay, yes. there is a Juan. Yeah, that's Juan Cabral. He was, Y'all trying to Yoruba. confuse me. Yeah, that's Cass. <laughs> so tell me, what do you know about your mother's people? Uh, they're Aztec, and that's about it from what mm-hmm. my mom told me. And so what we found is consistent with that. Mm-hmm. We found that your mother's 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 people are indigenous American Ooh. to the North American Oh, nice. Region, whereas your uh, Laura's indigenous American was more south, central and south, central yeah, and south, exactly. So you Mexican, Mexican, yeah, Facts. it's official. Oh, no, you welcome to the family. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, it's great. I'm not Jamaican. Great. <laughs> now, if you could just figure out how to actually say Mexican, <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> Yo, oh, you've been practicing. Nice. Yes. He normally says Mexican. I just have a thing with my lips. That's Mexico. All, yeah. all right, Let's I guess go. I'm up. I'm up. Did DJ go? Did DJ okay, just Ebro. do ancestry yes. test to find out that he's Mexican? Yes. <laughs> that is incredible. That just happened. Yes. <laughs> and that's why these tests, it's important to know why you want to take a test in the first place. So had I known that he was Mexican, I would have said, oh, well, you might not want to do this because we're only going to tell you what you already know. Right. Or with Laura. Now, we, I would have done the same thing with you and been surprised. So it's worth it to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you, you right. don't know what you're going to find. Hey, you Middle Eastern, kid. That's crazy. I'm not I look at you totally different. Really? Totally different. Thank you. <laughs> totally different. Not so really. So, Ebro, yes. let's start with your paternal. 
What do I know? So we did your father's 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 line, the okay. Darden male line. Okay. And what do you know about them? Uh, my dad, Oklahoma, born in Muskogee, Oklahoma. Um, his, my great grandfather was um, a sharecropper, I think, from South Carolina or Mississippi. The Darden name, though, I know goes back to South Carolina plantation. I knew that. Mm-hmm. And that was it. So there's a good chance that the people on that that own that um, plantation were from Portugal. Okay. Because that's where we found your paternal line. Wow, Portuguese. So that means that Portuguese. Yo, Brazil was good. <laughs> exactly. You were you descend from men that have Portuguese ancestry. Okay. Wow. On your father's father's line. But then, so welcome to the family. Okay, all right. So and that's father's know, father's right. line. So that, but that, that means Portuguese slaveholders, Most no? Most likely. Most, Most likely, likely, yeah. Right? Yeah, because yeah. your dad was black, black. My dad's dark, dark, yeah, for sure. And that's the beauty of genetics. It doesn't really matter how you look. doesn't yeah. always define what your deep ancestry is. Right, right, right. Because we're going back that's at so least Lisbon, here I come. Years. I'm on my way, Lisbon. I heard Portugal is beautiful. I Lis- heard. Lisboa, yeah. Lisboa. That's how you say it in Portuguese. You're Portuguese. Come on, man. This boy, Wasi. So you had no clue that your dad might have Portuguese lineage? Never heard of this before ever. Wow. But I'm going to share it with everybody. All right, now let's hear mom's Okay, side. mom. So your father's mother, your mm-hmm. grandmother. Yes. And um, we got your aunt. That's your cousin. Right. My cousin, your, Velma. Your Shout out to Velma. What's up, Velma? North Richmond, what's going on? She took the test so that we get your father's mother's 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 line like we did for everyone else. Right. Which should be Native American also. Why do you say that? Because that's the story. That's what they say. Well, you got, it's like Elizabeth Warren. That's what they say. So it should be because that's what they said? Yeah, but that's the only information we have. It's they. based on what they said. They. They. The family. Well, they were wrong. Yo. There you Whoa. go. All right. The people that you share ancestry with are African. Okay. Uh, they come, they are skilled in music. I mean, I'm and acting. You know what I'm saying? You seen Issa dance? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <They're, laughs> They, they're known for having um, superior bronze and metal working skills. Mm-hmm. Ebro's very good with metal. <laughs> Can't you see? Yeah. My drip my drip is crazy. Right. They had writing and printing before the arrival of Europeans. Wow. You share ancestry with people like Anthony Anderson. Really? Who I know you travel Yo, what up, to Ghana, Ghana with. Yes. Long lost uh, brother. Condoleezza Rice. Yeah, oh. I mean, I mean. Oh. I mean. miss. Yeah. Quincy Jones. Okay, hey. okay. We here. Flying Lotus. I love Fly Low. Okay. There you go. The actor Lamont Rucker. Okay, shout out to Lamont. The actress Cheryl Lee Ralph. I like Cheryl Lee Ralph too. And Shawnee. Whoa! Yo, what's up, my brother? Yo, what's up, my brother? Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on? That was a great setup. Yo, I always knew. Girl, East is my niece, family. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You share maternal genetic ancestry with the T-Car people. Oh, there we are. The T-Car people. Today. What's going on? Congratulations. Yo, T-Car, what's happening? We here. Yo, it's so crazy. So your dad's Portuguese and your mom's African. Wow. Well, sort of. His, his, his mom. His dad's dad and his dad's, dad's mom. mom. Okay, they didn't okay, do my okay, mom okay. mom. Okay, okay. Because my mom, I, well, we could. I mean, it could have come back like mom, although she's it, way whiter than me, so I don't even know where that Well, <laughs> Well, they say they're best Arabian, which when you look oh, you at it, it's like... Moldovia, wherever that is. Yeah, I yeah. think that's like Romania almost or something like that. And we, our test can't get that specific when it's not African. Right. So we, we wouldn't have been so able I to tell you much more. So I should do another test. For your mom's side? If you but want I, don't, I trust her. Yeah. I, because they haven't sold their DNA to the pharmaceutical companies yet. What, what, You're not gonna, right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any plans today to right. sell DNA of our customers, no. And the information that you uh, get from the people who participate, you told me that, like, all the swabs and all that are destroyed. Exactly. You guys just keep the paperwork and the documents. Exactly. And then this helps build out a larger database. Well, we're, we are not compiling a database of our customers. Got it. So this is just specific to the individual that needs it. Exactly. It's just there to help them and have... And so it. the other ancestry tests... It's interesting because your information gets adjusted as they compile more. Right. So which, as they add data to their to their reference 
database, mm-hmm. your results may change. But they're looking at you as an entire genetic being. Right. We're only looking at one African specific African ancestry line. specifically. Not, we look at maternal lines specific Got or it. paternal lines specifically. Specific. But we don't know if it's going to be African or Native American or indigenous or Love Middle that. Eastern. We don't know what it's going to yeah, be. That was fun, man. That was, that was cool. Really Me and Shani are related. Yeah, that's Rosenberg's not I'm, white. I'm He's a, Middle Eastern. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, Juanito's Mexican. I'm, who yes. knew? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I am what I am. Laura is what she is. Thank well, you well, for joining you, us. And why did, what about Griff? You just ignored Griff's results? Oh, no. shit, Griff. We got Griff and Louie. Oh, Louis Griff. too? Damn, you don't sorry, even consider man. them human. They're no, so- sorry, sorry. I forgot. I got excited. You told me to give them theirs. Did you guys look already? No, I just opened it up just now. What do you right, guys got going Griff. on over there? Right, producer come here, Griff. producer Griff. Come here, come here. Should I hand it over to you? Let's, yeah. Did let's, you look at it yet? I literally it over, just, op- it just opened it up. Right. Okay, Jason Griffin. There you go. I think yours is actually the most interesting. Wow. 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 Yo, okay. Griff is... White. We knew it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about your maternal line? Uh, my mom was born in Belize. Uh, she has family in India. And I, I'm not sure on the African side <laughs> here. So this isn't interesting to you because we found India. Yeah, my mom's grandmother was from India. And that's what this shows. You share maternal genetic ancestry. We got Asian populations that we were able to isolate to India, belonging to a haplogroup M3. There you go. Wow. Yeah. That's very you cool. Can. I didn't know that. I didn't know that about so you. So are you Hindi, Muslim? Or I, I, I honestly have no idea. I, I would have to ask. Come on, man. You got to do some research on your people. You know what I'm saying? That. I'm from that's Cameroon. Cool. You know what I mean? I know what's going on. T-Car. Oh, that's I, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I was like, oh, he's going to look at me crazy because no, okay. it says India. Yeah, no. I, I remember I remember that from a project when I was in school. And then my mom reminded us at some point. I, I don't remember exactly when, but. Yeah, I do. All right. Louis, let me see yours. Let's do Louis. Let's go. Louis. Louis. King Louis. So what do you know about your I, I really people? don't know much. Not, not much? Puerto Rican. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Puerto Rican, New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Indigenous that's... to New Jersey, Puerto Rican. <laughs> Yankees fan could come up in there. Yeah. Uh... So what we found for yours is actually you're the European ancestry in the group. Wow. Your mother's 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 line goes back to Europe, and the people that you share ancestry with are about 45,000 years old. Um, Y'all old out here, my G. It's similar in, in ancestry to Rosenberg. So you're white. Because... I mean, I'm Middle Eastern. Sorry, you're Middle Eastern like me. <laughs> Before, so you're in haplogroup J. He was in haplogroup N. You're in haplogroup J. But before haplogroup J, there was haplogroup M. And then before haplogroup M, you were in Africa. So you still have African ancestry if you go way, 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 way back. But this is actually not surprising because we find that many um, populations that are in South America, Central America, even in Mexico, uh, are combinations Mm -hmm. of Europeans Tainos or indigenous peoples and Africans. So your family is very likely a mixture of some of those, but in terms of your mother's 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 line, that woman was European. You whiter than Rosenberg. So we we have the rainbow (laughs) in here. No, no, we cover. Yeah, no, we definitely are. We, you know, all jokes aside, we um, we represent like New York City. You know what I'm saying? We're a very diverse group. Of hip hop fans who all just you know love doing what we're doing, but we we crack jokes obviously, yeah. but on some serious, like we take pride in the fact that we are the most diverse ethnically, probably show, you will see in media. Period. One of the things that I wanted to mention and remind you and Shawnee and all the black, all the Africans. <laughs> yeah, we oh he's gone, Cass. Yeah, he's a Cass. Um, Cass one, he's DJ. I'm T Car. He's Yoruba. You know what I'm saying? After, it's different, y'all. But y'all different. different. We cool. Everybody cool, else in here, well, with the exception of um, Luis. Had, L- uh, Luis, get out. You Lu- white. We're not talking to you. Right <laughs> now. <laughs> had a good Stop. idea of your mother's 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 people, right? You all didn't have as much of an idea. And what I want you to leave with with this information is that there was a T Car woman who had children, who made it across 
the ocean during the transatlantic slave trade. Mm. And you're here because of that. Hmm. You're the descendants of people who made it. And now you can explore Tikar culture, Hausa culture, to understand where that woman came from. And that should give you a real sense of pride and um, empowerment. Yeah. Absolutely. It's crazy. That's pretty cool, man. So, like, yeah. can I get an Africa medallion or nah? <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. 1989, nah. Spike Lee. You have to get the 50,000 year old. Oh, yours is a necklace on it? Yes. That's amazing. Nice. With a Here. fingerprint on it. <laughs> is this? Oh, wait. No, but it that is. Was, um, that was, no, that was. I was just breaking a moment with a stupid joke, but that was super interesting. Well, to think when about. I went to Ghana, it was similar, right? When we're standing in the slave castles, and they remind you that as much um, emotion and how disconnected you are from your heritage is a part of the anger and uh, emotional. I guess, instability of your existence in the Americas. Mm -hmm. and But the fact that you were able to make the trip back is the victory, mm -hmm. right? The fact that we're sitting here having this conversation is the win where, you know, the, the individuals that, you know, used your ancestors, took your ancestors, mm -hmm. abused them, enslaved them, they had no care for what their lineage would be, what their story would be, it didn't matter at all. And the fact that there still is a story and there's, you know, we're here to share it on the internet and on, you know what I mean? Like that, Pretty cool. that is, that's the win, you know, and we could go deeper into that's also a part of why people are super frustrated right now is because you have other people who were socially programmed to believe that the demise of black and brown people was inevitable and that they were conquering someone uh, and getting rid of a group of people, like yeah. making them not matter. And the fact that we still matter and have a voice is a part of the frustration because they were raised to believe that that wouldn't be a day. Well, And also, I, think, I wonder if it factors in also that, like, you know, whiteness was a, a created concept that people that didn't exist pre- America. It was people were Irish, they were of different countries, and then here white people just became white. And I wonder how much hatred and bitterness there is from racists that they really don't feel any connection to a sort of culture. You know what I mean? All you sort of have is this thing his that was history of being a color in America. There, there's no, you know what I'm saying? Being Africa is being of a certain tribe and a certain culture. There are a lot of white people who are simply, they go back and don't really know what there is except white. And so I think that sometimes the result you get is pride in that whiteness. And that's friggin' dangerous and scary. Yeah, man. Because it's a concept, it's a construct, it's not a real thing. Being white isn't a real thing. Yeah. You're, a th you're, you're from a place. Being white's nothing. Gina Page is her name, AfricanAncestry.com. Uh, it's, it's been great. Yeah, thank Amazing. you all for thank you being so much. game to find your roots. Of course. This is exciting. Of course. I had I had dodged it for, you know, a long time just because I didn't trust, you know, so don't let me down. I didn't trust 23andMe. I didn't really trust that the Ancestry.com. I'm swabbing my mouth. Who am I sending it to? Like, who are these people? I think I was made comfortable by the fact that I met you and, you know, um, got to know you and, and, you know, and I trust you. So you trusted thank her you. to swab your mouth. It didn't actually happen like that. They sent a package. Got it. Right. Okay. She, we, I didn't know if I see, assumed no. that's what I did see, also. You see, so you see what happens? Sure. You see what just happened? You see what just happened? This is exciting, man. I want to dig more into my Native American ancestry now. Hey, guys, uh, can you, uh, we all found out today Juanito yeah. is Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so big, man. Yo, give it up. Gina Thank Page, AfricanAncestry.com. Blessings.